Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. Today I'm with my buddy Scott and as you can see we are at Make Safe Tools. Now Scott is the business owner and is a real great entrepreneur. Started his company in 2016, has grown tremendously and he's helping people like all of you guys out there be a bit more safe with some of your products that have been known to kind of cause a little bit of pain. So Scott, welcome to MTD. Thanks for having me. Let's talk a little bit more about what you do and how efficient it can be with existing machines and you just apply your technology to all of those existing machines. So Scott, take it away, my friend. Absolutely, and you really hit it on the nose. A lot of people, they want to be safe, but they don't have the resources or interest in investing in entirely new specialty machines. And it can be really hard to navigate kind of exactly how to be safe, what OSHA wants and figure out what you really need to do, like what is your actionable step. So we fill that void. We sell a product that simply plugs in to your existing machinery. You don't need an electrician, you don't need a special degree, you don't need a special certification. You just find the voltage that matches, plug it in, and then you can prov provide OSHA protections on your machine. And we all know that our machines aren't as safe as they could be, and it can be just overwhelming to try and navigate that space on your own. So if you buy one of these, you plug it in, you automatically get an e-stop, which OSHA's looking for, you get an ANSI compliant control panel, that's great, but what is really special about what we do is we will make this machine, which has large cast iron wheels and can really coast for a long time, and by coasting I mean that it continues to rotate and continues to be dangerous for long after you've turned it off, we can make this machine stop in just one second instead of over a minute. So that means when you're reaching for your parts, when you're leaving the saw alone, when you're walking away from your bench grinder and someone else in your shop walks up innocently, not knowing it's still running, they don't get into trouble. Speaking with you, this very simple platform we're looking at here, right? Start, stop, e-stop. Absolutely. Right, but you have additional uh, components that are larger or I won't say more complicated, but have more buttons, right? And, and yeah. you can go into more detail. It's not just this three button system. Yeah, absolutely. So in our standard plug and play product, the standard is it comes with this three button control, but that's not what everyone wants. You want to have hands free. We also have things like this foot switch here that you can still just plug in. You don't need to do any special wiring. You just plug it in instead of those three buttons and you can depress to operate and release to break your machine and just walk away. Or you can mix and match with interlocks, your own controls, and even go into our custom control panels where you can integrate with existing machinery that has much more complex processes, multiple motors, and other things that might need a little more special attention. Right, well, when we start this bandsaw, with a lot of people out there, we know already, okay, this thing's gonna wind itself down, right? Yeah. And by utilizing this make safe product that you've created, it's gonna stop instantly. But there's more to it than that, right? You can judge how quick you want it to stop if you want it to be zero seconds, one second, five seconds, and that way you're not damaging the internal components of the machines either, is that correct? Absolutely, and we get a lot of questions, because, um, which is a good question, is are we creating any additional hazards by using this? Are we gonna reduce the life of the machine? Is it gonna be more dangerous, right? And we're a safety company. You know, and part of our, our UL 508 listing is really making sure that we're not gonna have any adverse effects on machinery. And you can adjust how fast you wanna break and how hard you wanna break, because that's gonna be different for every machine and every operator. And so our rule of thumb is when people are, are setting up how hard they wanna break, you aim for the time that's about the same as the machine takes to start up on its own. So this bandsaw, for example, takes about a second to get up to full speed. So we stop it in about a second. And that makes sure the mechanical parts of the machine aren't experiencing any stresses above what they're designed for. I love that. Uh, I think that is one of my favorite things about your product is that we're respecting the machine itself instead of saying, well, I need to be safe. I need to shut this down you know, quicker because of whatever hazard. Now, we all have to start somewhere, right? And there are people who are just getting into it that need something like this. I've seen people lose fingers. I've seen people really hurt themselves on one of the grinding wheels, you know, sawing down their thumb or something like that. So I would imagine that school systems might be something, you know, somewhere that they would want to look at your product as well, just based on you got to start somewhere, right? Absolutely. I've worked in education, and um, one of the things that um, really surprised me early on was I thought, oh, you know, as I get deeper into industry, they'll have this stuff covered already. That, that was my expectation. 
And as I got deeper and deeper, I realized, oh no, the kind of what exists in a high school shop still exists in most of industry. And a lot of people would you know, attribute that to carelessness or things like that, but really, I'm an engineer. I am someone that enjoys digging through code books and reading all that stuff. I love reading contracts. You're that guy. I'm that guy. And it's hard to navigate what you're supposed to do with even a simple machine. And if you ask five different OSHA inspectors, they're going to tell you five different things. And so, yes, we all strive for perfection and compliance and absolute injury prevention. But in the real world, we're all doing the best we can. And so we tried to make it really easy to make some big steps forward in both keeping OSHA happy and making your employees safer. Well, if it's okay with you, in my machine shop, I'm going to utilize your product. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so I'm looking at a piece of paper right here. Well, more or less a piece of paper. And I see that we can get your products at Fastenal and Granger and Midwest and Pen Tool. And you, there's a long list right here where you can be found, right? But what, where else can we find you? What's your website, your socials? Because there's going to be some people watching this video right now going, I really need this. Absolutely. Um, you can go to makesafetools.com. You can also find us on social media with the tag Make Safe Tools. And number one, when you're on our website, feel free to chat us. You can talk to us live at any time. Um, and that includes questions about how to be safe with machinery, about our products, about where to buy them. And if you specifically are working in a school, a public school, or a mission-based organization, contact us and we will take care of you because a big part of our business is making sure that the future of the industry is being safe and being taken care of. Thank you for doing that and guys don't get jealous from what I'm about to say but thank you also for being my very third best friend. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're amazing Scott. Thank you for what you do.